Hello and welcome to tutorial number 10. I think for now this is going to be the last one I do for a while. Uh, you're of course welcome to suggest any further topics I should try out um, in the comment section. And as a last one I thought I would go directly to Max uh, because it's an appliance of Modalis which in my head is much more suited for life or for a plugin purpose in Max for Life. In fact I have made some of my own Modalis plugins in Max for Life. Um, so what is very on vogue again in the analog world is uh, some things like little spring reverbs you can buy or even little plate reverbs but the old golden plate reverbs uh, from the olden times are very very rare and Modalis has its own kind of uh, color might I say it's it's uh, fascinating I find because it's a little bit it's it's not a digital sound but it's not really an analog sound either so it has it has its uh, strengths and I thought we uh, would build a little plate reverb um, together in Modalis so um, I will use um, something a little bit longer. So let's see what's up here. Yeah, the Goldberg variations could be good. Cembalo, so maybe you know it. Live gain. It's a max internal example. And an easy DAC. We turn it on. I'll put the volume a bit down. Okay, so that's what we're gonna put into a reverb. Into a plate reverb of Modalis. So what do we need for this to go in? Well, we need to make our script. So by now we have some exercise doing this. Um, we always have a load bang uh, just to be able to trigger it again we usually have a button and this time we have two signals that are coming in so we need mlis point input which we're gonna name the name in one and at channel one and we need a second one because it's a stereo thing mlis point input at name in two at channel two so there we go then this is going to be a signal so we need to call it a signal mlis signal at name sig one i'm going to call it and another one mlis sig null at name sig2 we are going to excite a plate so i'm going to choose an mlis a rectangular plate at name my plate there we go and it's going to have two inputs and two outputs because we want the stereo sound um, we are going to have mlis point output at out1, uh, name out1, and at channel1, and another one mlis, oops, mlis dot point output at name out2, and at channel2. So these are coming out here. And uh, what makes most sense is for this to use the force connection. And if you remember, the force connection is kind of, doesn't need, uh, it, it directly puts the signal on the plate. It's like, yeah, the force, Yoda is seeing the plate and just magically applying the force to it. Um, so we have endless force with two inputs, two outputs. I will call it at name mm, force con 
And the signal is gonna go in here and here. This is gonna go in here. This is gonna go in here and here. And at the end, we have an endless dot script. And all of this is going into a modalis, which has two signal inputs and two signal outputs. There we go. Uh, we are just going to test that with a control list to see if modalis complains at all for now. So now we can bang this um, and look up, is everything showing up? Yeah, it seems so, no problem whatsoever. Okay, we can connect this like that. And usually if you do a traditional reverb, you would make a wet dry connection. I think I have once saved a snippet which does that. Yes, I did. Good. So this is my little wet dry signal. Um, I have this going in here. Hey. So the left channel goes in here, the right channel goes in there. And we need this two times. So for both channels. So the second channel is going in here. And this channel is going in here. And then we have it. Oops. Then we have it. So we are going to connect this up, these two and these two, put them next to each other to not have it too crowded and maybe even just encapsulate it. P dry wet. There we go. Okay. So now let's let's uh, choose a nice uh, plate. Um, so you can of course control all this from outside, right? So what haven't we tried it out? Let's do a silver plate. That sounds cool. So we are going to go here and put in the silver stuff so um silver uh well let's put a constant loss of 0 0.6 to have it uh, nice and reverby uh 10500 is the density the frequency loss let's put it also at 0 0.6 as the constant loss the length we can control from the outside we can basically set a pitch uh, let's set the pitch to maybe something deep, 40 hertz. Um, and uh, the Poisson from silver is 0 0.37. And the Young is 8.3 uh, E10. The thickness, let's leave it thin for now. And we need the, the initial access points which could be, let's say, um, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 at the input uh, left and 0 0.5 and 0 0.4 at the input right and then here we would put on the other end of the plate eight and nine and let's have it nine and eight 
Okay. You can basically make yourself a little, for example, nodes. Um, that could be your plate and you could, if you want to control it from outside, where the signal goes in and where it goes out, you can, of course, take any kind of uh, UI element in Max and, for example, nodes and make four nodes, two for the input, two for the output and move them on your plate. If you imagine this to be your plate, and so then this would be okay. So I'm gonna put that in. We just need to hook up these two and then try it out. So we are playing back and we barely can see anything. Why is that? Because the signal that goes in has very little force. Yoda is still weak. Yoda has to amplify this a lot because minus one and one Newton on a big plate is not very much force. So usually you have a big amplification here. So I'm gonna put in, let's say, thousand. And it's a signal, so I shouldn't forget the tilde. And here, that. Okay, so now this is already a bit better as an input and we can slowly see some things coming through here. Strangely, only on the one channel, not on the other one. So I'm gonna check this out. Oh yes, I did a mistake. So this of course has to go here. Yeah. There. Okay, it's still very, very, very soft, right? So you can or go higher here. So let's say 2000 or 12,000. You actually need a lot, right? But now it's kind of... And we can already play around with the reverb. So here we have our reverb. That's it. Pretty simple. You can, of course, then uh, build all the fuzz around. So all the UI, what you want to control, which presets you want to have for different materials of plates or lengths and, and dimensions of the plate uh, and so on. So I hope you have fun with that one. A little bit of a shorter one, just as an epilogue for now. And uh, maybe see you soon. Uh, I hope you had fun and uh, all the best.